YouTube, welcome back to that Geek Crypto. We talk about anything related to money, and today we're going to start off the video how we start off every video talking about the price of Bitcoin. As we can see, the corn's hanging around 50k. It's just been consolidating these last couple of days. And where do I think it's going to move these next couple of days? Well, I think we're going to be moving side to side. As you can see, there's really little. There's basically no volume right now, so I think we're just going to be chilling, moving side to side for a little bit. But I'm expecting bitcoin to break out in 2022 new year so we'll we'll see what happens and for the whole market let's take a look at who's having a good day today really not too much going on um polka dot polka dot's having a good day um uni swaps having a pretty good day uni swaps had a pretty awful year though so chain links having a pretty good day another coin good fundamentals but has not performed up to its um how it should be performing and for our first like story of the day we're going to be talking about ethereum's futures perpetual funding rate all exchanges this is some bullish news now what's a perpetual futures contract well a perpetual futures contract is exactly like a normal futures contract except there's no set date that's the only difference and what's funding rate well funding rate is the amount of um funding rate is the money paid between traders and in this case scenario since the funding rate is positive, it would be long traders paying short traders. And as you can see in this past week, as we move it to weekly, our funding rate has completely just gone positive. This is very, this is bullish. I'm not going to say very bullish and, you know, hype it up and all <laughs> the classic, but this is definitely bullish in a rising funding rate. The bulls should be coming back at some point. I mean, it's, I feel like it's just a matter of time at this point. It's just consolidating, just cooling it. So we'll see what happens, but I'm expecting the bulls to come back at some point. And for our next story of the day provided by Coindesk, planning for a better breed of Doge. Dogecoin Foundation lays out first ever roadmap. As you know, one of the biggest complaints in the game was that Dogecoin has no roadmap, has no future. Well, they decided to put out a roadmap and here's what the article says. Let's start out with the first paragraph. The Dogecoin Foundation, a nonprofit organization that ain't nonprofit that aims to support the development of the meme coin through advocacy, has launched its first ever roadmap detailing a number of new projects. Let's take a look at what they have to say. The foundation announced a Dogecoin trail map, which explores eight projects, including the launch of Lib Dogecoin and Gigawall. What else we got? What good stuff we got here? And. In August, the foundation signed the Dogecoin Manifesto, which explained the goal of Doge and allowed the fans of Shiba Inu inspired cryptocurrency to also sign the manifesto, capturing feedback and what the community wanted from the project. And then take a look at this. The Dogecoin Foundation boasts some well-known board members and advisors, including Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin. Um, yeah, really, uh, I don't know really what to think about this. Vitalik being on the uh, board for the Dogecoin Foundation. It's whatever. I'm a neutral on Vitalik, so. And take a look at this tweet from Gold Telegraph. The Federal Reserve balance sheet is at all time highs, 8.8 .8 trillion. In March 2020, it was 4 trillion. That's absolutely insane. This is not noise. This is the signal. I'm telling you guys, this right here is the signal. They've more doubled their balance sheet. Like, you know, at this point, if you don't see what's happening right now in our economy and everything that's happening, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say at this point. I mean, protect yourself, buy Bitcoin, do what you can. And take a look at this next tweet. Bitcoin supply held by entities with balance 0.01 to 0.1 hit a new all-time high of 183,000 bitcoins almost 184,000 bitcoins you know what this is telling us this is telling us that the plebs are stacking it means that the little people are stacking they are the backbone of the bull run the people with those balances that's the backbone of the bull run simple this is exactly what we need and yeah as you can see people have just been stacking very bullish i mean at the end of the day there's a group of people in Bitcoin who are going to buy no matter what, no matter what the price is. The price could be a hundred thousand, a million. They're gonna still buy like they would if it was, you know, a dollar. I mean, if it went to a dollar. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I think everybody, if Bitcoin hit went down to five thousand dollars, I think 
it would it would be crazy i mean everyone would go haywire and for our last like tweet of the day our last talking point of the day take a look at this tweet from dylan leclerc the goat bitcoin update perps funding still moderately positive recipe for short squeeze if funding dips negative with the large increase in stablecoin margin open interest so right here he's talking about once again the perps funding rate we talked about that earlier for ethereum he's talking about right now for bitcoin and as he's saying he's expecting more consolidation for bitcoin which i think we all are but this is the main thing we want to look at recipe for short squeeze that's that's what we want to hear and that's it for today's video guys make sure to subscribe and like the video and join the discord please join the discord we just started the new discord we're gonna be turning up in there we're about to be grinding to get a big community this whole year and yeah i'm really excited